Hi friends, it's Janice. Welcome back. It's been a while since I released the Beginner's Guide to GoodNotes 6 video, and a variety of new things have been added since. Let's go over some of the main new features, and if you're following along, make sure your application is updated to the latest version. The first feature is right under the pen tool where you will see a new stroke stabilization setting that you can adjust from 0 to 100%. This setting smooths out and stabilizes your pen strokes, so if you've had issues with unevenness and funny tails on your letters when writing, then this new setting should minimize them significantly. Turning it all the way up to 100% is probably too much for regular handwriting, so I highly recommend experimenting with the percentage that works best for your handwriting style. I would say the setting is also helpful if you enjoy drawing in good notes since you can control the appearance of your lines more. You can also find this stroke stabilization under the highlighter tool if you need. The next feature is the new pencil tool. Like the pen tool, you can adjust the thickness from 0.1 to 2 millimeters, and it also has its own separate color palette from the pen and highlighter tools. You simply get a pencil-like texture when writing. A neat element to the pencil is that it responds to the angle of your Apple Pencil, so if you position it like you're shading or coloring something, then you will see your pencil tool start shading as well. You can incorporate the pencil in your study notes, which is what I did here for the brain diagrams, you can of course also use the pencil tool for doodles and coloring in your digital journals. Next up is the new tape tool. This feature is meant primarily as a study tool where you can hide content in your notes simply by drawing the tape over it. You can customize the size of your tape and you can also change the colors and add your favorite colors to the toolbar for easy access. You can put the tape over important keywords and phrases and it will completely cover the content so you can test yourself. Tapping on it once will reveal the content underneath. You can tap on it again to bring the tape back, or tap on the tape tool itself and select Remove All Tape. Speaking of study tools, GoodNotes also introduced a timekeeper which you can access through the toolbar. You can customize the duration of the timer and when you start it, a small bar will appear with the timer info and you can either hide it or open it up to pause or end the timer. Under the timer tool, you can tap on history to view all your past timer sessions. You can even create custom modes for different session lengths. Under the same timekeeper tool, there is also a stopwatch if you need. Next, we have sticky notes. I find that this is more of a collaborative feature if you're sharing your GoodNotes document with others. The sticky notes come in multiple variations and you can also change its colors. When you add one to the page, you can add some typed text to it, and whoever you are sharing the document with can reply to the sticky note and start a comment thread. If you've ever used Google Docs with others, this feature feels very similar in that its purpose seems to be to bring attention to something on the document as part of a team effort. You can collapse the sticky note as you work on the document, and once the item has been addressed, you can tap on the sticky note again and tap on Resolve, which removes the sticky note from the document. Another small feature they quietly added is the ability to tap on hyperlinks in your document without having to enter read-only mode. As you can see, I don't have read-only mode on and I can write with my pencil, but I can still use my finger to tap on links to navigate through my journal and planners. This way, you don't need the extra step of turning on read-only mode to use your Apple Pencil to tap on hyperlinks. The next feature is Smart Ink. When you use the lasso tool to select your handwriting and tap again for the menu, you can tap on this new icon which will bring up a box around your handwriting, and you can actually move, realign, and reflow your handwritten notes, so it behaves much like a text box. You can change the paragraph alignment from left to center to right, copy and convert to text, change the color of your handwriting, and also resize and rotate with the new interface. You might have already seen that they redesigned the menu that comes up when you select something. All the actions have now turned into icons, and there is an overflow menu for options you're probably familiar with, such as arrange, take screenshot, add element, etc. Our second to last feature is audio transcription. If you're in a lecture or meeting, you can now tap on the microphone icon and GoodNotes will transcribe the audio for you. It's not totally perfect, there are typos, but you can still long press to edit the transcript if needed. You can play back the audio recording just by tapping on the section and it'll start playing back, and you can also tap on the three dots here to save and share the transcription as a text file. If you tap on the three dots here and go to language, you'll see which ones are currently compatible with audio transcription. 
The last feature I'm going to go over in this video is Ask GoodNotes. This AI is designed to analyze and process questions based on the context of your notebook. So you can ask it to summarize your notebook, generate questions for you, but it may not necessarily respond to anything that's not related to your notebook. Do keep in mind it is AI, there is no guarantee that the info it gives back to you will be accurate, so please use its answers with discretion. Alternatively, you can also select something in your notebook with the lasso tool and directly tap on the Ask GoodNotes icon, then write a question along with what you've selected. Just like the audio transcription, you can save the answers that it generates into a text file. If you tap on the settings icon and go to AI credits, you will see that there is a limit to how much you can ask the AI per month. You have 500 credits that resets each month and there is no way to extend your credits. This is GoodNotes way of ensuring fair usage among all users and also to maintain its performance. So that's all for this video today. Hopefully some of these new features will be useful for you. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'll see you next time.